What is up everyone? Hopefully you guys are having a good day today. The people over at Last Fit were actually super kind enough to get me these fresh new LEDs for the Evo. Uh, this is a reverse light LED and this is a running light LED. So the Evo consists of a reverse light, a turn signal, a brake light, and like a running light right here. Um, they gave me this guy and this guy. And the LEDs were actually supposed to give you a much higher light output so that it's safer for you when you're driving and you don't get rear-ended because the, the lights are actually super bright. Uh, I did notice that one of my brake lights is actually out and that's just the reason to get pulled over so we are going to go ahead and switch this one out as well. So I have to go to Walmart or Be uh, Best Buy, uh, AutoZone and then find a replacement bulb or LED and then we'll go ahead and start on the install process. First thing we're going to do is get the car out, uh, I have to go to the gas station, I have no gas and then we'll head to Walmart or AutoZone and then find the bulb and then do the install real quick for you guys and show you guys the difference of the different outputs of the lights OEM versus the LED. So stock though. You guys actually shop at Arco? Well, hey gas. I've heard like really bad stuff about it. It's supposed to be like low tier gas. So I try to stay away as much as I actually can. Anyways, let's get going. No. I put like 20 bucks in. Let's see how much it filled up. It has. Oh wow. Evil life problems. <laughs> oh man. All right, let's go. Just a no car parks next to me and dings this thing. I think I'm also gonna fix the ride height on this thing. It sits a little high, but I am gonna change wheels, so I might be selling these NTO3 soon. All right, so I finally got it. Uh, these are the 7443R LED, they're red uh, for the broken bulb on mine. These should also be brighter just because they're LEDs, so, and these are made by Sylvania. So, where's the Evo at? Oh, it's over here. That's what sucks about parking your car super far. You gotta deal with the, the walking across the parking lot. <laughs> All right, so now that we got the LED, also got some pre-workout. Uh, I'm gonna go back home and then we're gonna show you guys the install for the, basically the whole tail light setup. All right guys, so we're back home. Uh, now we're actually gonna go ahead and start on uh, pretty much putting these on. So these are the brake lights. 
7443R from Savannah. These are the running lights. Uh, the, it's the LT1R, which is red as well. And then the reverse lights are the last fit L7443 white. Um, because the reverse lights are obviously white. Um, if you get a different color, then obviously it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna look off. So yeah, first step, uh, just gonna remove two, these two Phillips screwdrivers on both sides and carefully manage to pull out the headlights. And they pop out just like that. But yeah, I took this thing to a dry lake bed um, I was doing donuts and stuff, so it got super filthy. I thought I had the whole car, but obviously the dirt also gets into the creeks and cracks throughout the car, so I'll wipe this down after the install. But here's how you do it. So, this one here is your reverse light, this one here is your running light, and this one here is your brake light. And if you're also doing the turn signal, it's gonna be this guy here, but we're not doing that guy. But at least we'll have the main, the main bulbs in there. So now I'm gonna take them out. So as you can see, the reverse light has, I'm guessing this is OEM, um, it's like a blue-white, and you're going to replace that one with the last fit uh, L7443. Um, you literally just um, unplug it and plug the next one in. I would actually recommend using gloves. Uh, if you guys don't know, uh, the human body actually releases uh, oils, um, and when you touch the bulb, uh, it pretty much decreases the life of them. Uh, you don't want that. So always work on these with gloves. If you're going to reuse them, I'm not, so I really don't care. So literally all you do is you just go ahead and uh, plug uh, both ends together. As you can see, it matches perfectly. I'm just going to go ahead and click it while holding the camera. It's a little hard. There you go. It's in. I'll test fit it right now. You stick it back in. And you make sure this is sealed correctly because you don't want water getting in there and then ruining your whole light or housing from the inside. Alright, so this one's on. Um, now let's move on to the running light, which is the smaller one. As you can see, the bulb is a lot smaller and it looks like it's almost burned out. Uh, i guessing these do need replacing every once in a while. Uh, LEDs do last a lot longer than your average bulb, so this is always a nice upgrade. And of course they always they look brighter and better so it makes the car look a little newer too. Um, how does this go in? Oh, it goes like this. So it's a little harder to record and put these things in, you know. <laughs> Alright, so it's in. Plug it back in. Make sure these are flush. So these are the Silvana uh, 7443R. Plug goes right on in. Super easy. It's literally like it's, this would probably be like one of your first mods if you're just getting a car on it, so it's super easy to do. Put the thing in there, connect it, and I'm going to show you guys the difference between the OEM bulb and the LED tail light. And they're on, they're a lot brighter. I don't know if you can tell in pictures, like this one's definitely brighter than that side over here. See, so you guys can see the difference. Oh, yeah. In person, you can definitely tell. These are like really, really bright, and these just look like slightly dull. Let me close the trunk. Yeah, you can definitely see the car from the back now. All right, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and do this side, and I'll show you guys the after, the before and after, basically, of everything. I'm super happy with how they came out. In person, you can really tell the difference of the, of the light output overall. Uh, from the OEM to LED, and I'm no longer having a a bad bulb. So I'm also going to be getting the third brake light uh, once I get the Vars diffuser, the one that goes right here, uh, to finish the rear end. Bella, what you think? Hey, you like it? <laughs> All right, guys. So that was a quick install, super easy, by the way, of the Last Fit LEDs for the Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution uh, 8 and 9, it's the same thing. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put their products in the description of the ones I got, just in case you guys want to do it. Uh, but that's it for today's video, hope you guys liked it. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Let's go.